As a firefighter and as someone who has experience with autism in my family, I know that calling 911 can be stressful. For example, first responders use lights and sirens to warn others on the roads that we are responding to an emergency. Some people with autism are sensitive to loud sounds and flashing lights. When they are overstimulated, they sometimes cover their eyes, ears, or even run away from the stimulus. When units are advised that someone on scene is autistic, they can shut off their siren and lights to not overstimulate the patient. Let us know if the autistic patient has any triggers and the best way to approach that individual. If you or your family members call 911, follow these tips. Answer all of the dispatcher's questions. They're going to ask you for your name, what happened, and the address of the emergency. This is the moment to tell them what's wrong and that you need help. Inform the dispatcher if you, your family, or someone with you is autistic. The 911 dispatcher will then relay that information to responding units who are on their way to help. Dispatchers can also guide you with any important steps to take next. This can range from helping someone choking, not breathing, or even how to perform CPR. Gather the patient's medical information, medicines, and comfort measures the best you can. Some autistic patients have comfort items that help them keep calm. Having a card with the patient's information can also be helpful. Explain to the patient that help is on the way and tell them some of the things that they might see when we arrive. Remind them that first responders are here to help and tell the dispatcher what would be the best way to approach the patient. We are responsible to those we serve and that includes the members of the autistic community. For more information, please click in the link in the description below. I'm Firefighter Planus and this is your Miami Minute.